the stages of kidney disease or kidney damage. So you can't just start from one and end up to five, just like that, and end up on dialysis. Kidney damages in stages, and if you pay attention, you could arrest it before it gets to stage five, where you may require dialysis or may end up losing your life. So I think knowing the stages is very critical in helping you rescue your kidney from failure. The first stage is stage one, okay? Stage one. Stage one is still considered um, a kidney disease even though you may be putting out adequate urine per minute. Remember, at least your kidney should be making about 90 milliliters of urine per minute. And in stage one, you may still be meeting that goal. The color of your urine may be good to the sight, but maybe under the microscope, it may have some blood in it, it may have some other things in it that is not available to the naked eye. So we may say you have chronic kidney disease stage one, and everything is still doing good, you're fortunate, okay. Stage one could be because you have a urinary tract infection that you are still taking medications to cure, and it's affecting you but not impacting you significantly because your urine output is still good and meeting where it should be. And then we move on to stage two. With stage two, we say you have mild disease, you know, kidney disease, because you're still faltering between 60 to 89 milliliters of urine every minute, which is still good. You know, your urine color may be okay, and we can't safely say that is damaged significantly because you're still functioning, you know, having... Um, ammonia breath, you are not having any fogginess in your thought process, you're not having much symptoms and you're still you know, compensating so well and functioning okay. So stage two, a few may see some changes but not everyone. So remember I said kidney disease is in stages, right? Then we move to stage three. Chronic kidney disease stage three, there are two types of stage three. We have Stage 3A and stage 3B. For stage 3A, your kidney function may be 45 to 59 milliliters per minute. You're still filtering urine. So we'll say kind of mild to moderate damage because you're still filtering urine, just that it's not up to the 90 that you were supposed to be, you know. 45 to 59 liters per minute is better than nothing, right? Then we have 3B. 3B, it drops even lower, where your urine filtration is 30 to 44 milliliters per minute. So remember how 3A is 45 to 59 milliliters per minute? In 3B, it drops further down to 30 to 44 milliliters per minute. That is how much urine your body is filtering out every minute. And that is considered moderate to severe because it's less than half of the 90, at least the 90 milliliters per minute that you're supposed to produce every minute, right? So 3B should be a wake up call, even if you've ignored stage one, stage two, 3A. 3B is dropped significantly to 30 to 44 ml per minute. That should be a wake up call. It's about half of where your kidney function to be. And if you don't pay attention to 3B, you go to stage 4. Stage 4, it declines significantly to 15 to 29 milliliters per minute. That is how much urine you're making out. So it drops significantly to 15 to 29 milliliters per minute. And at that point, you can say your kidney is severely damaged. And then the almighty stage 5, where you are at end stage of kidney disease. There is no point of turning back, regardless of what we do, whether it's medications or what. You may have to be on dialysis or be on the waiting list for kidney transport, if you are lucky. So, do not ignore your kidney. Do not ignore the signs. Pay attention to the urine that comes out of your body and respond appropriately. Make sure you are proactive if you see something that doesn't make sense. Because remember, there's a long rope, but once you get to stage five, there's no turning back. Stage one, you can recover. Stage two, you can recover. Stage 3A, you may be able to recover. Stage 3B, you might recover. Stage four, uh uh, stage five, no point of turning back. So, I hope it's been helpful. Thanks for watching.